Mark Visconti reporting. Where am I today? Where am I today? National Pride Day, uh oh. National Pride Day. Is it a gay thing or is it a thing of. Is it about uh, freedom? Right? It's about, it's about equal rights. Huh? That's what it's about. But who won the day today? Holy shit. I gotta walk because the person that wins the day today is not popular in this crowd. Right? And that is that one Donald J. Trump. I had my Trump baby hat on today, but I guess I gotta... Listen, man, this is a big day for... This is a big day, what Trump did today, right? I'll talk about the parade in a second and the whole history of it, right? I'll just give you a perspective. I am on Stonewall Plaza. There's armed police with guns and stuff. And that right there... Well, I guess I could walk in there. It's Stonewall, the Stonewall Inn. Let's take a look at the Stonewall Inn. So, and we're going to talk about Trump because it's a big event. He went over there and he shook hands with... Kim Jong-un, just for the hell of it. What a day. So, let's roll the clock back, 1969. Stonewall riots. 1969, early in the morning. Gay community says, hmm, enough. I get choked up at things like this. <laughs> That they say enough, right? Freedom. We want our voices heard. Now, you don't have to be gay to, to appreciate that. I certainly am not gay, but I damn appreciate it, right? I appreciate the, the effort. All right, so this is Stonewall Inn, right? This is the scene of the, you know, widely considered one of the most important events in the gay liberation movement. Undeniably, right? In this bar, people held their ground. Right? They said, they said, wait, <laughs> they said we're Americans. Yeah. Don't treat us less than, right? So, so anyway, it's, a, it's always a spirited event. There is a big parade that's going to happen. Right? The first parade was June 28th. June 28th, 2000, uh, 1970. So it was exactly one year after the event. And there was riots, and there was a lot of hate, and a lot of brutality, right, against gay people. And they held their ground, and they won. Right? And now it's, you know, it's probably not over. Right? Discrimination it doesn't just end, but it certainly it certainly takes it certainly it certainly moves away from the uh, it moves out of the closet. Right? Plenty of police. <laughs> Always more police than anybody else. It's my old neighborhood, by the way. I used to live around here. I used to live down in Soho. And we're going to talk about Trump, man, because it's big news, right? Right? So, I don't know how many thousand people are going to march down these streets. The, uh, I wanted to say also that Stonewall is a national, um, a national landmark at this point, right? The day is National Pride Day. It's confirmed under Clinton. Right? It's people are not fucking around. Right? This is like, you don't have to be... You don't have to be black to, to appreciate civil rights, uh, you know, for black people or gay people or, or any, anybody, really. Right? That's just what it's about, you know? It's about people holding their ground, right? If only everybody can do that in America. If, if only we could do that in politics. Instead of being divided, come together, right? So... So here's the big mo the big news on this National Pride Day. He steals the day, Trump. Trump, in a tweet, says he becomes the first president, first U.S. president, to step foot in North Korea. 
Wow. First, first president in U.S. history to step foot in North Korea. Now, is that big? <laughs> 26 words. And a smile changed the way America does politics. Changed it, right? So Trump says in a tweet, while there, while he was in, he was in Seoul, Korea. I, you gotta, you gotta, gotta. I'm gonna go get a cigar in a minute <laughs> at the Village Cigar Shop. I, you gotta, you gotta put put it in perspective, right? Trump comes out of, he comes out of out of the G20, right? Manly man, you know, bro man with with Putin. Hey, <laughs> a schmooze, and he's he's you know he's kissing, he's he's kissing Macron on the cheek, right? And and North Korea is excluded from that, really, for most for the most part. Kim Jong Un and and North Korea, I don't think are even invited to the uh, to the uh, G20 summit, right? So Trump, while he's going to Korea, says this: so Seoul, Korea, South Korea, says this. Quote, while there, if Chairman Kim of North Korea sees this, tweeting, if he sees this, I would meet him at the border, the DMZ, just to shake his hand and say hello. Right. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, man. People coming together. Right. That's, it's, you could... All the, all the negative shit that Trump has done in terms of the economy, in my view, uh, it, it, it all, today, on this day, it all goes out the window. It all gets eviscerated because anything that prevents, anything that prevents the possibility of nuclear conflict, anything, wins the day, always. That's my view. So if it takes a man to just Say, hey, I want to shake your hand, you know? We're cool, right? We're still cool? I I'm with that, you know what I'm saying? I'm with that. So I don't know how many thousand people are going to parade down the street. This guy's great. Look at this guy. It's all about love. <laughs> He's loving it. He's loving his life. He's living and loving his life. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll um, film some of the uh, parade. I'm not really into the parade. I'm gonna do a little walk and talk in a little while, and um, maybe talk to some people. I'm not really set up for that right now, and I'm not really interested in it right now. But I just wanted to get that Trump story out there. It's very, it's very fascinating, you know. While we cut each other up, right? Also with the LARP wars, it's, <laughs> it's funny, right? The fucking I'm a homo, right? Somebody's saying that shit. There's a running, you know the LARPs, right? I was telling just to briefly on the LARPs, right? I told you that it's a hornet's nest, right? You talk about these guys and then and then they, they get pissed off and then they start they start attacking you and that's fine. It's all good, but uh, so Conti, <laughs> there's a rumor Conti is the gay LARPer, <laughs> right? It's, it's take your enemy, take what you are and put it on your enemy, right? I said that the LARPers are, are our enemy, so now I'm the LARPer, and oh, and let's add to, the, let's add to that, oh, he's, he's, a, he's, he's gay. Right? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an honest person. If I was gay, I'd tell you right away, man. I'd be proud of that shit. You think about how easy it would be, too, right? You know when you're fucking, you know how di difficult women are, right? Just to get a little bit, you got to work so hard. God damn it. I, if you're gay, right? Like I, I have more in common with, I, I, you know, just camaraderie with men, right? You talk, you hang out. There's no, no strings attached, right? It's not sexual, right? But with women, you know, you're trying to get that, you're trying to get a little of that, and it, it just, you know, it's more difficult. It's more complex, you know. It's much more complex, right? Is there? I mean, you know what I mean? Like, there's a difference between. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know anything about it. I've worked. I worked in. I worked in the um, catering industry for a long time around a lot of gay people. It's hard for me to think in the crowd. And um, I, I know that I know I know that gay is not a choice. It's something you're born into. You don't decide one day. Hey, I, I think I'll be gay. I mean, I mean, this is this is elementary to anybody 
you know, with an IQ above 70. But a lot of people don't believe that. They think it's a, a, a shame, a sin against God, right? You're sinful, right? That's that's the problem. You don't, you know, you're you're um, you're you're bad. You're a bad person, you know. And that was the issue in 1969, right? That was the issue. That was the fundamental gripe that that you people are broken, man. You need to be fixed, and we're going to help you fix. All right, we're going to fix you. <laughs> Just listen to us. We know how to fix you. All right? But you know. What's, what's the shame? I mean, you, you're born, what if you're born with three legs? Right? What if you're born with, you know, uh, a, a, a uh, desire to sniff flowers in the morning or, or some, other, some other thing? Isn't, it, isn't there, isn't there uh, it doesn't mean that it, 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 it denies you of your manhood because people are gay or womanhood because there's lesbians or whatever, right? It doesn't deny you your freedom. It allows, it actually enhances your freedom because, because, right? Because, because to give freedom is to, is to have freedom. You try to restrict freedom, what do you get? You get confusion. You get, you, you don't even know who, who the enemy is. Right? You don't even know who the enemy is, right? I mean, gay attraction, right? You know, you see the <laughs> people are getting pushy, man. Pushy. I'm gonna get out of this crowd soon. So I really don't know what's going on over here. But if this is what it looks like early in the morning, it's gonna be crazy up here. It's a great parade, and it's not a parade about Macy's. It's not a parade about about um, you know selling you anything or. The liberation movement thing is marching. The liberation movement. I don't know. No, I don't. I don't know. What's up, guys? Can I bring you into my frame? What? Can I bring you into my frame? Hey, man. Marcus Conti, reporting. Hey, well, so what brings you out here, man? I was just doing a report on um Where are we on the this? parade. <laughs> What's that? Where, where is this airing? Uh, it's YouTube. It's a YouTube video. Okay. YouTube cool. uh, stuff. You don't have to say your name. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so Michael. Hey, Michael. So, what? brings you out here? Uh, you heard about the. The alternative uh, grassroots parade, and I thought it'd be kind of cool. Right, I think it's happening over here. I think that's these people are here. Okay. Something about marching up Seventh Avenue. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Cool. I think it's much better than the traditional political, you know, floats that are going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I did that last I, year. I, I, I hear I said you. Said never again. Yeah. Too much commercialism. Right. Hey, did you hear that Trump? Uh, Trump shook hands with Kim Jong Un this morning. What do you think of that? Disgusting. Why so? I don't want to get into politics. Look, have a good okay. drive. Okay. All right. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Oh, fucking. See, it's a it's a hot button issue, but who could deny? Uh, so some kind of crazy shit going on here, right? About to get run over by a parade. Sorry about that. Some kind of some kind of counter rally. Huh. This guy's awesome. Love these guys. Someone said in the last video at the at the ho at the Mermaid Parade said, "Come on, Conti, keep the camera on the hot lesbians." <laughs> I'll try. I haven't seen many yet. <laughs> are there radicals in the crowd? People that are radical about their belief? Yeah. But does that? Oh, I'm sorry. Does that change the? <laughs> does that change the? The fucking fake news just bumped into me. See that? I'll go give her a cunt kick. 
I got. I went to the. <laughs> just go home and tell a friend. So I went to the gay parade. I got a cunt kick. I got kicked in a cunt. So. So again, I can't emphasize enough. It's not about gay or straight or any of that stuff. That's not what. That's not what chokes me up about events like this. It's about. It's about people. Did I mention I'm not gay? <laughs> not even once. <laughs> Those fucking scumbags, right? You try to give them a, oh, you, didn't give, you didn't give me a fair shake, Conti. You're a fucking homo. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's so stupid, man. These guys are like children. They're like adult children, right? They're LARPers. They're adult children. So I'm not going to stay here all day. I'm going to try to move up towards the uh, the starting line and uh, and and maybe talk to some people. <laughs> hey, can I bring your shirt into my frame? This is awesome. Listen to this, look at the shirt. <laughs> hey, how you doing, man? Good, man. Great. Marcus, Marcus, uh, can't be reporting. That's organic. You're right, you know man. I mean? Yeah, I hear you, man. I got the. It's either that or go back to childhood. I got my my Casper the friendly shirt on. Huh? Good, great shirt, man. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, the straight guy. That's a, a straight eye for the queer guy. You remember queer queer eye for the straight guy? That was the that was the straight guy for the queer eye. <laughs> Try pussy. It's organic. <laughs> awesome. So it's not about again. What is what is gay? I mean, again, I worked. I, I was trying to say that before. I worked around enough. I got to get away from this. Whew. I worked around enough gay people to know that it is. It's not a choice. You don't wake up one day and say, "I, I want to be gay." I think I'll try that. No, it's a. It's a. It's a. It's a feeling of attraction. You know, and I've been. You know, it's not to say that you. You don't. As a male, you don't know what a handsome male is a handsome man you say to yourself oh man that's a handsome man a muscular smart that's a handsome well put together man that's not gay that's that's acknowledging that's that's again IQ over 70 could figure that out right or a woman you could say you're you're wow that's a beautiful woman but there's something else there's a there's a a sexual desire when you look at a man a man looks at a man and sees sexual desire that's that's gay and and from i guess my you know 55 years in new york city living in you know living here for for 15 of those years it's uh it's a it's a very natural thing and you know it right away you know it as a child and you also know that it's not for you it's not you right right and to be to, to hold any shame I think is the is the point of this rally, that people needed to to uh, in the in the sixties to tell the world that, because nobody was listening. And it appears now that they are. I mean, are, are we listening? Do we really care? Is it is it? Um, you know, I, I may not agree with a man transitioning into a woman, and then running a foot race against other women <laughs> and beating them. And declaring himself the winner. I mean, that's, that's where we get into silly season. That's where we can argue that the extremes. Uh, as people are extreme, right? Just be gay, you know? Be, be who you are. Be proud of it, right? Be proud of it. Who, what's, what's, the, what's the shame, you know? For me, it's like, hey, listen, man. I can't even think about that shit, man. It's like, you know, exit only. My ass is exit only, bro. Exit only, man. Just... It's got. It, it only goes one way, man. The fucking, you know, the flow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some people like that shit. I mean, just the thought of it for me is, ouch, you know. <laughs> so anyway, Mark Sconti reporting. I had to get away from that, from the crowd over there. But it's it's crazy. That's Stonewall, man. Thank you, thank you, President Trump. Today you win the day. You stop the war. You stop the. You stopped, you made the guy smile. They shook his hand. You saw the video? He, Trump steps out. He's coming one way and Kim Jong-un is coming the other way in a no-fly zone, demilitarized zone in the middle of, between the wall, between North Korea and South Korea. 
and, and, and they shake hands and smile and Trump gives him a pat on the back and everything's cool. He just flew by, he just, he just stopped by to say hello. Uh, what's so, what's so, you know, you know that guy right there, that jerk off, that guy's a jerk off, right? I just, he yeah, disgusting. Trump, Trump wins the day and he's disgusting. Where's the logic? Blame him for the economy. <laughs> Blame him for income and wealth inequality, continuing it. Blame him for, for no health care. But don't blame him for defusing a potential nuclear conflict with an isolated country that has been isolated for over 60 years. You, you must salute that. You must. You must. Um, you must salute it. Marcus Conti reporting.